Hello, YouTubians! Welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts! Yeah! In the last episode, you remember, our... Well, Sora's homeworld got destroyed, and... We ended up here in this weird place called Traverse Town. Um... There are a few things... Yep. There are a few things I'm gonna just show you. I'm just gonna walk around and show you a few things. First of all, um... Can't do anything, really. Yet, but that blue mark or that treasure chest that was just there. Um, so anyway, you want to go over here. Boxes, yeah, you can smash them if you want to. They don't hold anything. Alright, if you want to talk to this Moogle, um, that will be the synthesizing job later. Very important. Hmm, seems to be locked. Sora, you are the absolute most idiotic idiot. You have a giant key and you don't think to try to unlock it? Seriously. So anyway, go in here, trigger another cutscene. See a guy's heart being taken. It just somehow randomly forms another heartless. I'll tell you what they are and how to f fight those when we actually start fighting them. So some more shadows pop up. And oh no! <clears throat> so anyway, I from now on I'm going to speed up the fighting. Like this, since it would be, I think, boring just to watch me just hack and slash away at for who knows how long. I won't speed up the boss fights or some important fight, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, um, you want to go in here, and you see that Donald and Goofy are here too, and they're looking for you slash Leon. Currently closed off means you have to do something before it will open. Um, so anyway, head out here. And I think to go back in, but that's wrong, because that doesn't trigger another um, goofy scene. So anyway, I run over here. I try to pause to see how much experience to my next level. So that's what I'm doing. I recommend always grinding out at least one level um, per world. It's just easier that way. Anyway, I think I can get the treasure chest from here, but I can't, so I go and fight some more. Um, you notice that they're also dropping these blue and yellow balls. Those are money. Yes, money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they decided to name it money and not Zen or whatever else normal Final Fantasy money is, but it's money. Um, uh, I think I got hit before, I don't know, uh, but these shadows are a lot stronger than the ones on Destiny Islands. Uh, yeah, go down there, trigger another one, see if they're looking for Leon. Um, they can pretty much, since it's on expert mode, they, they can pretty easily kill you. Um, so anyway, go over here and get a chest. It's a potion. Woohoo, potion. Uh, they're pretty valuable right now, so. Yay. Uh, you notice it's only shadows right now, which is annoying because they only give one experience point. See, look at that, look at that. Ow! Ow, there's a lot of HP. For the weakest enemy in the game. Um, so yeah, um, just the same strategy. Um, you can when when they like what jump and swipe at you, you can swing at them to stop their attack. So anyway, you'll see. Oh look, Pongo and Purdy. There, you have to find their puppies um, throughout the world uh, to. If this was normal mode, you would have to find them and something else to unlock the secret ending. But since it's expert mode, you just have to finish. They think it's pretty. <laughs> they are like, it's hard enough. Hey, yeah, you don't need it. So anyway, I jump up here, do, 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 fight some more. Yay, money! Seventy-two money. Uh, and I go into the gizmo shop. And that's the last trigger you need for to continue on, I think. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you go in here in the general shop and you see, oh no, one, two heartless, then two more heartless, then three more heartless. This is your, this is basically your grind point um, in Traverse Town. Um, heartless will keep appearing in here. Um, and as the story progresses, new Heartless will appear in great numbers. So, if you want to easily grind out a level, this is the way to do it. 
So anyway, while I'm fighting and grinding out this level here and collecting money, woo money, <laughs> it's uh, uh, I'm going to talk about um, Birth by Sleep story since I said I would, and I mentioned Ventus before. Well, anyway, uh, Birth by Sleep stories starts as um, the these three friends, Terra, Aqua, and Ventus, are training to become Keyblade Masters um, in in their homeland. I forget the name of it. <laughs> yeah, I only played B BBS once and never looked back. Uh, anyway, they are training to become Keyblade, Keyblade Masters under their master. He it doesn't really matter because uh, he, he doesn't. He, yeah, he doesn't matter. He's just there as a oh no, you killed him sort of thing. Uh, kind of thing. Um, anyway, so they're training. They take the test. Take the test. It's, it's like knocking bubbles around. <laughs> I don't know myself. Um, but uh, this other Keyblade Master that's what bears witness is Master Xehanort, and he breaks the test so that Ter so only Aqua Aqua passes, and she she's there and. It's so all like yay for her, but you know Terra's still jealous, and so he goes off to sulk by himself. Yeah, while he's doing that, Master Zaynor approaches him and tells him that the other worlds are in trouble and stuff like that. Um, Venti then he sets off by himself. Um, Ventus follows him, um, and Aqua thereafter. Because it's her duty and whatnot. Ter uh, 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 Ventus is more like, uh, no, big brother, kind of thing. So, they go out throughout their own things, doing what they're doing, stopping Heartless and whatnot, like usual. Um, all the meanwhile, while Terra, Terra keeps op um, blah, can't talk, sorry. Terra. Um, uh, becomes more and more susceptible. You keep seeing him glow with darkness and stuff, whatnot. Like he keeps getting dragged down deeper and deeper into darkness. Um, so by the end of it, and all the while, Master Xehanort's in the background pulling strings and whatnot, um, trying to steal Ventus's body because he's old and he needs a new one kind of thing but and at the end Ventus is like no I won't let you so he draws Master Xehanort draws, draws the darkness out of him and forms Vanitas because he also wants wants a keyblade warrior of light and darkness to clash form the ultimate weapon called the Z keyblade I'm gonna call it the yeah the keyblade K-I not K-E-Y um, and it's like the ultimate weapon of Doom's destruction disc, so... Um, hold on, I'm gonna stop story time here for a second, and, cause I gotta head outside and this will trigger a, a cutscene. After I take these two potions out, cause potions are cool. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you, as long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose ba a kid like you? Bands of Final Fantasy hey, should recognize that, that supposed to recognize mean? that necklace. Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. All right. Then have hmm, who could it possibly be? All right. So anyway, we start this fight with this mysterious guy. Ow, he does a crap ton of damage. And he basically owns me. Yeah, he's really hard to um, just win against an expert. But it can be done. Hey, you found it. Nice going, Leon. If you win, it will just sh it will show another scene. Uh, Still. Uh, show a different scene. It looks like things are worse than we thought. Sor a lot worse. Sora will stand over him victorious. He's crouching on the ground, and then he'll 
like suddenly get a headache or something and just fall back like that and the scene will continue as normal from there. Gorge, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Actually, I'm not scared. Lies. Excuse me, did the king send you? Run, Goofy and Donald, it's a zombie! Zombies everywhere! Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. What? You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the keyblade. Well, good. I guess this is where she... But it's your heart they really want. Because this is where because she had, uh, disappeared, key too. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I guess that guy hit him... <laughs> I think you might have overdone it, Squall. Indeed. That's Liam. Why change your name, Squall? The Keyblade. Yeah. We had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Aw, oh, it doesn't like him! Well... I suppose beggars can't be choosers. They can if why don't you start making they sense? They want to die. What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there besides your castle in this town, right? Exposition! Yeah. Yay! Well, you're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. Why aren't you dead? The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts, that's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Ooh, all philosophical. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Fun fact, er Aerith is bo oh, Boris by Mandy Moore. It? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find them quick. Red. More Disney humor. That's right. The Keyblade. So, this is the key. It really doesn't have... Exactly. Basic form really doesn't the have much of a blade on it. fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So you're out of luck. So, tough luck. Yes! How did all this happen? I remember being in my room... <gasps> and wait a minute. What happened to my home? My island? Riku? Kyrie? Oh, I didn't you know get what? to finish. I didn't I really get don't to know. finish. Oh, wow. I'm horrible. Yeah. I don't know why Squall changed his name to Leon for this purpose. I, I'm going to take a wild stab and say that he was too devastated by the, the loss of everyone. Since his world got swallowed up and whatnot. Um, I don't know, so I guess he's like, ah, oh, I can't be myself anymore. Uh, that guy's too much of a voice or something. I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> swing at Yuffie. <laughs> uh, of course, the ninja gives you tips for opening crap. Uh, I can't go that way. Can't go into the next room yet. You can do that if you want to. Um, ah! Nope. Nope. Nope, can't lock on. Miss! I'm trying to hit this clock here, you'll see me do it in a second. If you wind it to the right time, it'll do something. I forget what, but... Uh. <clears throat> so anyway, talk to Squall again when you're ready to get out of here. When 
really isn't that much trouble. Oh no, the new type of Heartless appears! Go! Let's go. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome! I'm gonna get to fight with Squall? Yeah, it's gonna be totally badass! Was what I was thinking the first time I played this game. And he runs off. God damn it. So anyway, these Heartless are called Soldiers. They are much stronger than normal, um... Shadows and um, ow, and give you more experience. C3. Oh boy, a whole two more experience. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Yep, I died because <laughs> the camera does not cooperate. Yes, I blame my death on the camera. So there, anyway. So I'm gonna fight these apparently, just to show you how kind of hard it is, I guess. Yeah, they take um five hits. Stupid lock on, and you can stop, and you can stop their attacks. Um, to get their technical point, when they swipe their claws at you, swing Keyblade, and you'll uh, get a technical point, which is just like a free experience. Woo, free experience. So anyway... So anyway, um, back to the, what I was saying before about birth by sleep. Um, oh yeah, the uh, the, the keyblade, K I, not K K E Y. Um, it's like supposed to be this uber weapon. It looks like um, it looks like what Sora has on right now. Um, but there's two of them crossed over, and it actually has a blade on it. It's pretty BA looking. Um, so anyway, so Vinitas gets so Vinitas and Ventus clash and forms this G blade. I'm gonna call it G blade because it's just easier. <laughs> um, and he gets he gets a hell of it. Vinitas does the bad guy, not Ventus. Um, So you have to fight him while he's wielding it, and it is one tough... He's a cheap mofo with it, of course, and it's a really tough fight. But, no matter what you do, Ventus gets defeated by Benitas. And his soul somehow winds up combining with Sora, giving, him, giving Sora the ability to wield the Keyblade. Uh, Terra somehow winds throughout their travels too. Terra and Aqua wind up on Destiny Islands and, and see them as kids. And um, Terra um, basically like invokes the right of the next Keyblade or something, Keyblade, and that's how Riku is able to wield one because Terra said so. <laughs> um, Aqua. Says a little prayer basically for Kyrie and hopes that she'll be okay. Like protective charm, and it's all <laughs> crap, basically. So anyway, so now that's beneath Ventus's soul is binded with, um, binded with uh, Sora there. Yes, now you can open that, and you'll see that the uh, see that the also around here that the people have this district pretty well in hand. Oh yeah, here's the item shop. <coughs> There's pretty much really nothing in here right now, sorry about that. Um, anyway, back to the birth by sleep. Yes, I get distracted, I'm sorry. 
So, when Ventus is taken down, Terra, Terra and Aqua are there, of course, and Terra flies into a rage and opens his heart to darkness to, to defeat Master Xehanort. He wins, but not before he Master Xehanort slips inside him, basically, and takes over his body. Um... No longer needing Vanitas, uh, the new Terra Xehanort hybrid thingy mabob <laughs> defeats him. And uh, they put Ven Ven Ventus's body. Oh, yeah. Un anyway, yeah, you wanted to go back to third district from there. And that'll trigger another scene. Since Squall was all like, go find the boss, he's in 3rd District. You just have to make your way back there. I made a cut. <laughs> um... Alright, so anyway, here we... I can be quiet. Sorry, I can be quiet for the scene. Ominous rumblings, no! More soldiers. They should be easy to take out, though, right? <laughs> See there? See there goes Donald. He's a magician through and through. He took out one of these mofos in one hit. Oh, on my way here, I, uh, since I cut, I leveled up and got a strength increase and a HP increase. So that's why I'm taking them out easier. I figured you just want to see it anymore. He's just hacking away, basically just smashing on X. So anyway, here is the boss of Traverse Town. It is called the Reverse Armor. It has five separate parts. Its legs, its hands, and its torso are all separate. Yeah, you can avoid that. Um, they'll attack it and heal each other until Goofy runs out of items. And or Donald runs out of magic. So anyway, I recommend on taking out its feet first, feet first, since it's like an area attack. You can't um, don't have a scan yet, so you can't see how much HP it has. So just keep wailing away at it until it breaks. Yay, and it'll break into HP. I'm silly there and use it use a potion. Even though there are HP balls everywhere. Um, you see that Donald is knocked out right now? It doesn't mean he's dead, he's just knocked out. He'll come back into it into the fight after like a couple of minutes. Hey, it's other foot's gone. Okay, now go for one of the hands. Since they just fly they fly around all independently of its body. Ow, yeah, that hurts. Dang, dang that hurts. Um not really much else to say about this guy. Just try and dodge his attacks, and he should go down kind of easily. See, there goes its other hand. Now, lock onto that. Take out its other hand. Ow. I'm out of items. Donald is doesn't have enough HP to heal me. Goofy's out of items. So I'm, that's why I'm kind of just running around until Donald refills his magic. But luckily, that didn't have many more hits. And HP balls! So anyway, now only the torso is left. It really doesn't pose that much of a threat. When it starts doing that, though, you want to get away. And it goes down. Woohoo!
and Donald wastes his magic, attacking a thing that's already dying. So you see that it, it let out a pretty big heart. And we got a Brave Warrior. It's another accessory. That raises your sh So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. Damn cutscene. They too have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us to help us find the king. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Mm -hmm. No crowding, no side friends, okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny, like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Yes, but runs on happy faces. Happy? That's one funny face. Okay, why not? Uh. I'll go with you guys. Donald Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. Yay for quotes! Boop. Meanwhile, at the Lair of Evil... That little squirt put down that heartless. Oh no! I can't tell who that is at all. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat's friends are the king's lackeys. Swung on the ice, they're all built rats by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up! Enough. The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. In Final Mix, there's an extra scene there. It'll pan over and it'll show another darkened figure. And a smirk. Thanks. Actually, I forgot to mention. I, I, yeah. If you beat Squall there, you can um, he'll give you an like an extra like potion or something. It it's not really worth <laughs> fighting it. Trying it's really I don't think it's worth beating him. I mean, just progress the story faster. Just. I mean, it's not that. <laughs> Yay, and so we get our first magic and the first ability. The first ability is always the best. And I sped things up again because I'm going to wander around for a bit. Uh, dodge roll. Hit square to roll out of the way of attacks and enemies. Uh, remember those postcards I got? You go over here and you can mail them. Everything, everyone, every postcard will gain you something. So anyway, um, these marks are called Trinity Marks. Um, throughout the game... You'll see them all over the place in different colors and whatnot. Right now, you can only do blues, which is called Trinity Jump. And go up there. Careful, though. Uh, get that treasure chest, because that's the only time you can get up. Get up there until way, way, way later. So, anyway, head into the item shop. I do. And, um, yeah, you want you always want to buy the more magical one for Donald. Up his magic attack, since he doesn't really do any physical damage. I check what they have, so I don't buy it again. And uh, he needs more magic power, and then I have not put them. Uh, doo -doo -doo. 
So then I equip it. Do oh yeah, that uh, bravest warrior. Brave warrior. Uh, yeah, slightly raises HP and strength. Always good. Give him a protection. Give him the ability stud since he learns abilities like crazy. Uh, sell. Download the stock. Uh, I never use cottages and tents. They restore your HP and MP at. <clears throat> at save points that don't have the glowy thing, but there's always at least one glowy save point in a wor per world. So that's not really an issue. See over here, here's another red Trinity market. It's called Trinity Trinity Push. You don't have it yet. You'll get it later, like everything else, as their friendship grows or something. Yes. You notice that all the Heartless are gone from the world as I wander here. And yeah, that's Dodge Roll in action. Woo! Dodge Roll! Most useful ability in the whole game, I swear to you. Anyway, so I, I head back to 3rd District. Ooh, banking House. Woo. Now Sora figures out, oh, I can open that! Uh, okay, this is just a quick way back to 1st District. Yeah, you don't even have to walk all the way around. Uh, do that comes in later when you have a different magic ability. Remember the Trinity Jump, you can get a camping set. And lots of money. See this door over here? Oh no, it has a fire symbol on it. So what am I gonna do? Yeah, hit it with fire. And you just jump across these stones. Boing 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 boing. See over here you can't get that yet, you need the Trinity. Uh, I think that one's called Trinity Climb. That will trigger another cutscene. There's something about this musty place. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Kyrie? Squirrel? Let that be a lesson to you kids. Don't do drugs. They make you see things. Huh? Oh look! Look who it is! Cameos everywhere! So anyway, in true sort, true his style, <laughs> he unpacks his stuff, and yay! Um, when he says train, you'll just go up there, and he'll make things appear that you can shoot at. They won't hurt you in any way. Um, if you really feel you need to train with magic go for it um otherwise i say don't even bother i'm just opening up this area cuz mainly for her her and something else but that's later too what could she do though really who knows i'll show you later when i get a certain item but this has been quite the quite the long episode hasn't it so uh, no, let's get this Trinity real quick first. Come on. Get it. Come on, there you go. Another Trinity jump. Boom. And you get a Mega Ether. And more money. Yay, more money. Money is always good. I don't really use it except for when I'm synthesizing. I'll, and I will synthesize towards the end. So anyway, but anyway, that w is going to do it for this edition of uh, Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. This is Sword 543 saying see you in the next one.